Elon Musk said he had no choice but to slash staff numbers at Twitter because the company is losing more than $4 million a day. Half of the social media site's staff are being let go a week after the Tesla boss bought the company. An internal email sent on Friday said the mass job cuts were unfortunately necessary to ensure the company's success moving forward. Mr. Musk has been looking for ways to cut costs and make more money on the platform, such as proposing verified users pay $8 per month to keep their blue tick. And now Elon Musk may be considering charging users for more than just a blue check mark. He has reportedly discussed putting the entire platform behind a paywall. The proposal would reportedly allow people to use Twitter for a set time each month before they need to pay a fee to continue browsing. Elon Musk said he had no choice but to slash staff numbers at Twitter because the company is losing more than $4 million a day. Half of the social media site's staff are being let go a week after the Tesla boss bought the company. An internal email sent on Friday said the mass job cuts were unfortunately necessary to ensure the company's success moving forward. Mr. Musk has been looking for ways to cut costs and make more money on the platform, such as proposing verified users pay $8 per month to keep their blue tick. And now Elon Musk may be considering charging users for more than just a blue check mark. He has reportedly discussed putting the entire platform behind a paywall. The proposal would reportedly allow people to use Twitter for a set time each month before they need to pay a fee to continue browsing. Elon Musk said he had no choice but to slash staff numbers at Twitter because the company is losing more than $4 million a day. Half of the social media site's staff are being let go a week after the Tesla boss bought the company. An internal email sent on Friday said the mass job cuts were unfortunately necessary to ensure the company's success moving forward. Mr. Musk has been looking for ways to cut costs and make more money on the platform, such as proposing verified users pay $8 per month to keep their blue tick. And now Elon Musk may be considering charging users for more than just a blue check mark. He has reportedly discussed putting the entire platform behind a paywall. The proposal would reportedly allow people to use Twitter for a set time each month before they need to pay a fee to continue browsing. Elon Musk said he had no choice but to slash staff numbers at Twitter because the company is losing more than $4 million a day. Half of the social media site's staff are being let go a week after the Tesla boss bought the company. An internal email sent on Friday said the mass job cuts were unfortunately necessary to ensure the company's success moving forward. Mr. Musk has been looking for ways to cut costs and make more money on the platform, such as proposing verified users pay $8 per month to keep their blue tick. And now Elon Musk may be considering charging users for more than just a blue check mark. He has reportedly discussed putting the entire platform behind a paywall. The proposal would reportedly allow people to use Twitter for a set time each month before they need to pay a fee to continue browsing. Elon Musk said he had no choice but to slash staff numbers at Twitter because the company is losing more than $4 million a day. Half of the social media site's staff are being let go a week after the Tesla boss bought the company. An internal email sent on Friday said the mass job cuts were unfortunately necessary to ensure the company's success moving forward. Mr. Musk has been looking for ways to cut costs and make more money on the platform, such as proposing verified users pay $8 per month to keep their blue tick. And now Elon Musk may be considering charging users for more than just a blue check mark. He has reportedly discussed putting the entire platform behind a paywall. The proposal would reportedly allow people to use Twitter for a set time each month before they need to pay a fee to continue browsing. Elon Musk said he had no choice but to slash staff numbers at Twitter because the company is losing more than $4 million a day. Half of the social media site's staff are being let go a week after the Tesla boss bought the company. An internal email sent on Friday said the mass job cuts were unfortunately necessary to ensure the company's success moving forward. Mr. Musk has been looking for ways to cut costs and make more money on the platform, such as proposing verified users pay $8 per month to keep their blue tick. And now Elon Musk may be considering charging users for more than just a blue check mark. He has reportedly discussed putting the entire platform behind a paywall. The proposal would reportedly allow people to use Twitter for a set time each month before they need to pay a fee to continue browsing. Why did Elon Musk walk into Twitter with a kitchen sink? Elon Musk walked into Twitter's headquarters on Wednesday carrying a kitchen sink. He posted the video to his own Twitter account. He changed the profile description to read Chief Twit. Musk is expected to close the deal to buy Twitter by 5 p.m. New York time Friday. Why did Elon Musk walk into Twitter with a kitchen sink? Elon Musk walked into Twitter's headquarters on Wednesday carrying a kitchen sink. He posted the video to his own Twitter account. 
he changed the profile description to read Chief Twit. Musk is expected to close the deal to buy Twitter by 5 p.m. New York time Friday. Wood does not sink in water, it floats. He paused to allow his words to sink in. I heard what she said, but it did not sink until some time later. The warning failed to sink in, and he got into trouble as a consequence. That news is finally starting to sink in. Bob sat down and read the letter again slowly. Then and only then did it begin to sink in that Stella was really dead. Wood does not sink in water, it floats. He paused to allow his words to sink in. I heard what she said, but it did not sink until some time later. The warning failed to sink in, and he got into trouble as a consequence. That news is finally starting to sink in. Bob sat down and read the letter again slowly. Then and only then did it begin to sink in that Stella was really dead. Wood does not sink in water, it floats. 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 He paused to allow his words to sink in. He paused to allow his words to sink in. He paused to allow his words to sink in. He paused to allow his words to sink in. He paused to allow his words to sink in. I heard what she said, but it did not sink until some time later. I heard what she said, but it did not sink until some time later. I heard what she said, but it did not sink until some time later. I heard what she said, but it did not sink until some time later. I heard what she said, but it did not sink until some time later. The warning failed to sink in, and he got into trouble as a consequence. The warning failed to sink in, and he got into trouble as a consequence. The warning failed to sink in, and he got into trouble as a consequence. The warning failed to sink in, and he got into trouble as a consequence. The warning failed to sink in, and he got into trouble as a consequence. That news is finally starting to sink in. 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 Bob sat down and read the letter again slowly. Then and only then did it begin to sink in that Stella was really dead. Bob sat down and read the letter again slowly. Then and only then did it begin to sink in that Stella was really dead. Bob sat down and read the letter again slowly. Then and only then did it begin to sink in that Stella was really dead. Bob sat down and read the letter again slowly. Then and only then did it begin to sink in that Stella was really dead. Bob sat down and read the letter again slowly. Then and only then did it begin to sink in that Stella was really dead. What does let that sink in mean? Let that sink in is an idiom used immediately after a statement to urge that it be properly considered so that it can be fully understood and appreciated. When someone uses the phrase, it typically indicates that they think the information they have just communicated is extremely surprising, interesting, or consequential. What does let that sink in mean? Let that sink in is an idiom used immediately after a statement to urge that it be properly considered so that it can be fully understood and appreciated. When someone uses the phrase, it typically indicates that they think the information they have just communicated is extremely surprising, interesting, or consequential. What does let that sink in mean? Let that sink in is an idiom used immediately after a statement to urge that it be properly considered so that it can be fully understood and appreciated. When someone uses the phrase, it typically indicates that they think the information they have just communicated is extremely surprising, interesting, or consequential. Rishi Sunak, who was formally appointed as the UK's 57th Prime Minister during his first speech at 10 Downing Street, said that he had accepted the King's invitation to form the new UK government. Sunak said that the country is facing a profound economic crisis and that the aftermath of COVID-19 still hangs on and impacts the economy. He also briefly blamed the ongoing Ukraine conflict for the crisis, saying that Russia's Putin is presenting a threat in Ukraine, indicating that the impacts can be felt. Sunak thanked his predecessor, Liz Truss, for leadership, saying she was an enthusiastic leader who created instant change, but that some mistakes were made. Some mistakes were made. And I have been elected as leader of my party and your Prime Minister, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. Rishi Sunak, who was formally appointed as the UK's 57th Prime Minister during his first speech at 10 Downing Street, said that he had accepted the King's invitation to form the new UK government. 
Sunak said that the country is facing a profound economic crisis and that the aftermath of COVID-19 still hangs on and impacts the economy. He also briefly blamed the ongoing Ukraine conflict for the crisis, saying that Russia's Putin is presenting a threat in Ukraine, indicating that the impacts can be felt. Sunak thanked his predecessor, Liz Truss, for leadership, saying she was an enthusiastic leader who created instant change, but that some mistakes were made. Some mistakes were made. And I have been elected as leader of my party and your prime minister, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. Rishi Sunak, who was formally appointed as the UK's 57th Prime Minister during his first speech at 10 Downing Street, said that he had accepted the King's invitation to form the new UK government. Rishi Sunak, who was formally appointed as the UK's 57th Prime Minister during his first speech at 10 Downing Street, said that he had accepted the King's invitation to form the new UK government. Sunak said that the country is facing a profound economic crisis and that the aftermath of COVID-19 still hangs on and impacts the economy. Sunak said that the country is facing a profound economic crisis and that the aftermath of COVID-19 still hangs on and impacts the economy. He also briefly blamed the ongoing Ukraine conflict for the crisis, saying that Russia's Putin is presenting a threat in Ukraine, indicating that the impacts can be felt. He also briefly blamed the ongoing Ukraine conflict for the crisis, saying that Russia's Putin is presenting a threat in Ukraine, indicating that the impacts can be felt. Sunak thanked his predecessor, Liz Truss, for leadership, saying she was an enthusiastic leader who created instant change, but that some mistakes were made. Sonic thanked his predecessor, Liz Truss, for leadership, saying she was an enthusiastic leader who created instant change, but that some mistakes were made. Some mistakes were made. And I have been elected as leader of my party and your prime minister, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. Some mistakes were made, and I have been elected as leader of my party and your prime minister, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. Rishi Sunak, who was formally appointed as the UK's 57th Prime Minister during his first speech at 10 Downing Street, said that he had accepted the King's invitation to form the new UK government. Sunak said that the country is facing a profound economic crisis and that the aftermath of COVID-19 still hangs on and impacts the economy. He also briefly blamed the ongoing Ukraine conflict for the crisis, saying that Russia's Putin is presenting a threat in Ukraine, indicating that the impacts can be felt. Sunak thanked his predecessor, Liz Truss, for leadership, saying she was an enthusiastic leader who created instant change, but that some mistakes were made. Some mistakes were made. And I have been elected as leader of my party and your prime minister, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. Rishi Sunak, who was formally appointed as the UK's 57th Prime Minister during his first speech at 10 Downing Street, said that he had accepted the King's invitation to form the new UK government. Sunak said that the country is facing a profound economic crisis and that the aftermath of COVID-19 still hangs on and impacts the economy. He also briefly blamed the ongoing Ukraine conflict for the crisis, saying that Russia's Putin is presenting a threat in Ukraine, indicating that the impacts can be felt. 
Sonic thanked his predecessor, Liz Truss, for leadership, saying she was an enthusiastic leader who created instant change, but that some mistakes were made. Some mistakes were made. And I have been elected as leader of my party and your prime minister, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. Breaking news coming out of Downing Street, the UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. The big question now is what happens next. Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next Prime Minister? Breaking news coming out of Downing Street, the UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. The big question now is what happens next. Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next Prime Minister? Breaking news coming out of Downing Street, the UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Breaking news coming out of Downing Street, the UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Breaking news coming out of Downing Street, the UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. The big question now is what happens next. Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next Prime Minister? She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. The big question now is what happens next. Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next Prime Minister? She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. The big question now is what happens next. Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next Prime Minister? Breaking news coming out of Downing Street, the UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. The big question now is what happens next. Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next Prime Minister? Breaking news coming out of Downing Street, the UK Prime Minister, the embattled Prime Minister Liz Truss, in office now for only six weeks, announced that she is resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She's going to stay on for now until that party can elect a new leader, an election that will likely happen within the next week. The big question now is what happens next. Do we have any idea who is on the list of potential people who can be the next Prime Minister? was the next day. The young boy underwent numerous rounds of chemotherapy. His two-year-old sister there keeping him company. Word of the family's plight made its way to the sheriff's office. They put their heads together and spoke to mom and dad. And neighboring departments came together to make this a truly magical day for Archer. This allows us to bring a smile to this struggling little kid, and that's a great thing. Oh, it's amazing. I can't put it into words. I'm sorry. <laughs> the past few months haven't been, been easy on the Bradshaws, so the police had one more gift on the back of that flatbed truck, Archer's very own this police cruiser. cruiser. This is your official police ID. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, look at You're that. You're official now. You can't quantify what this does to people. It truly is life-changing. Thank you. You're welcome. In Lake County, Michigan, a line of police cars, fire trucks, and even a helicopter in a special parade. All to pay a visit to one brave little boy. Three-year-old Archard Bradshaw, just recently diagnosed with lymphatic leukemia. In Lake County, Michigan, a line of police cars, fire trucks, and even a helicopter in a special parade. All to pay a visit to one brave little boy. Three-year-old Archard Bradshaw, just recently diagnosed with lymphatic leukemia.
You always think like it won't happen to me or it won't happen to somebody I know. He was just had a fever, took him to the hospital and then the diagnosis was the next day. The young boy underwent numerous rounds of chemotherapy. His two year old sister there keeping him company. You always think like it won't happen to me or it won't happen to somebody I know. He was just had a fever, took him to the hospital and then the diagnosis was the next day. The young boy underwent numerous rounds of chemotherapy. His two year old sister there keeping him company. His two-year-old sister there keeping him company. Word of the family's plight made its way to the sheriff's office. They put their heads together and spoke to mom and dad. And neighboring departments came together to make this a truly magical day for Archer. This allows us to bring a smile to this struggling little kid, and that's a great thing. His two-year-old sister there keeping him company. Word of the family's plight made its way to the sheriff's office. They put their heads together and spoke to mom and dad. And neighboring departments came together to make this a truly magical day for Archer. This allows us to bring a smile to this struggling little kid, and that's a great thing. Oh, it's amazing. I can't put it into words. I'm sorry. <laughs> the past few months haven't been easy on the Bradshaws, so the police had one more gift on the back of that flatbed truck. Archer's very own this police cruiser. cruiser. This is your official police ID. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, look at You're that. You're official now. You can't quantify what this does to people. It truly is life-changing. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, it's amazing. I can't put it into words. I'm sorry. <laughs> the past few months haven't been easy on the Bradshaws, so the police had one more gift on the back of that flatbed truck. Archer's very own this police cruiser. cruiser. This is your official police ID. <laughs> look at that. Wow, You're, look at You're that. You're official now. You can't quantify what this does to people. It truly is life-changing. Thank you. You're welcome. In Lake County, Michigan, a line of police cars, fire trucks, and even a helicopter in a special parade. All to pay a visit to one brave little boy. Three-year-old Archer Bradshaw, just recently diagnosed with lymphatic leukemia. You always think, like, it won't happen to me or it won't happen to somebody I know. He was just had a fever, took him to the hospital, and then the diagnosis was the next day. The young boy underwent numerous rounds of chemotherapy. His two-year-old sister there keeping him company. Word of the family's plight made its way to the sheriff's office. They put their heads together and spoke to mom and dad. And neighboring departments came together to make this a truly magical day for Archer. This allows us to bring a smile to this struggling little kid, and that's a great thing. Oh, it's amazing. I can't put it into words. I'm sorry. <laughs> the past few months haven't been easy on the Bradshaws, so the police had one more gift on the back of that flatbed truck. Archer's very own this police cruiser. cruiser. This is your official police ID. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, look at You're that. You're official now. You can't quantify what this does to people. It truly is life-changing. Thank you. You're welcome. Hurricane Ian leading to an unprecedented search and rescue response. So far, some 90,000 structures have been searched for survivors. This video from Florida Task Forces 4 and 5 on hard hit Pine Island. They're going door to door, and these are highly trained firefighters from throughout the state, and they go into disaster zones. The death toll now at a staggering 123 in Florida, and so far, the leading cause of deaths is drowning. At last check, some 130,000 homes and businesses are still without power, including this neighborhood. This is called Harlem Heights. All of these homes flooded. That is why you see pile after pile. These are ruined belongings stacked up on the street. And like 80% of the Floridians, most here do not have flood insurance. It's going to be a very long road back for so many here in Southwest Florida. Hurricane Ian leading to an unprecedented search and rescue response. So far, some 90,000 structures have been searched for survivors. This video from Florida Task Forces 4 and 5 on hard hit Pine Island. They're going door to door, and these are highly trained firefighters from throughout the state, and they go into disaster zones. Hurricane Ian leading to an unprecedented search and rescue response. So far, some 90,000 structures have been searched for survivors. This video from Florida Task Forces 4 and 5 on hard hit Pine Island. They're going door to door, and these are highly trained firefighters from throughout the state, and they go into disaster zones. The death toll now at a staggering 123 in Florida, and so far, the leading cause of deaths is drowning. 
At last check, some 130,000 homes and businesses are still without power, including this neighborhood. This is called Harlem Heights. The death toll now at a staggering 123 in Florida, and so far the leading cause of deaths is drowning. At last check, some 130,000 homes and businesses are still without power, including this neighborhood. This is called Harlem Heights. All of these homes flooded. That is why you see pile after pile. These are ruined belongings stacked up on the street, and like 80% of the Floridians, most here do not have flood insurance. It's going to be a very long road back for so many here in Southwest Florida. All of these homes flooded. That is why you see pile after pile. These are ruined belongings stacked up on the street, and like 80% of the Floridians, most here do not have flood insurance. It's going to be a very long road back for so many here in Southwest Florida. Hurricane Ian leading to an unprecedented search and rescue response. So far, some 90,000 structures have been searched for survivors. This video from Florida Task Forces 4 and 5 on hard hit Pine Island. They're going door to door, and these are highly trained firefighters from throughout the state, and they go into disaster zones. The death toll now at a staggering 123 in Florida, and so far, the leading cause of deaths is drowning. At last check, some 130,000 homes and businesses are still without power, including this neighborhood. This is called Harlem Heights. All of these homes flooded. That is why you see pile after pile. These are ruined belongings stacked up on the street, and like 80% of the Floridians, most here do not have flood insurance. It's going to be a very long road back for so many here in Southwest Florida. Those are warning sirens sounding off in Japan after North Korea launched a ballistic missile over the country. Some residents in the northeastern regions were told to evacuate and trains were temporarily suspended. The Japanese government says the intermediate range missile passed over Japan and landed in the Pacific Ocean. Officials say North Korea is testing weapons designed to strike U.S. allies and key targets. Those are warning sirens sounding off in Japan after North Korea launched a ballistic missile over the country. Some residents in the northeastern regions were told to evacuate and trains were temporarily suspended. The Japanese government says the intermediate range missile passed over Japan and landed in the Pacific Ocean. Officials say North Korea is testing weapons designed to strike U.S. allies and key targets. Those are warning sirens sounding off in Japan after North Korea launched a ballistic missile over the country. Some residents in the northeastern regions were told to evacuate and trains were temporarily suspended. The Japanese government says the intermediate range missile passed over Japan and landed in the Pacific Ocean. Officials say North Korea is testing weapons designed to strike U.S. allies and key targets. In Harker Heights, Good Samaritans prevented an alleged kidnapping. Police say a man persuaded a girl to get into his vehicle, but then two witnesses stepped in and stopped it. It happened after school around 4 p.m., just a block away from Harker Heights Elementary School. That's near the YMCA. Two bystanders stepped in and were able to actually get the child out of his car. Fortunately, the child wasn't hurt, and she's back with her family. The man is currently being held at the Bell County Jail. In Harker Heights, Good Samaritans prevented an alleged kidnapping. Police say a man persuaded a girl to get into his vehicle, but then two witnesses stepped in and stopped it. It happened after school around 4 p.m., just a block away from Harker Heights Elementary School. That's near the YMCA. Two bystanders stepped in and were able to actually get the child out of his car. Fortunately, the child wasn't hurt, and she's back with her family. The man is currently being held at the Bell County Jail. In Harker Heights, Good Samaritans prevented an alleged kidnapping. Police say a man persuaded a girl to get into his vehicle, but then two witnesses stepped in and stopped it. It happened after school around 4 p.m., just a block away from Harker Heights Elementary School. That's near the YMCA. Two bystanders stepped in and were able to actually get the child out of his car. Fortunately, the child wasn't hurt, and she's back with her family. The man is currently being held at the Bell County Jail. In Harker Heights, Good Samaritans prevented an alleged kidnapping. Police say a man persuaded a girl to get into his vehicle, but then two witnesses stepped in and stopped it. In Harker Heights, Good Samaritans prevented an alleged kidnapping. Police say a man persuaded a girl to get into his vehicle, but then two witnesses stepped in 
and stopped it. In Harker Heights, Good Samaritans prevented an alleged kidnapping. Police say a man persuaded a girl to get into his vehicle, but then two witnesses stepped in and stopped it. It happened after school around 4 p.m., just a block away from Harker Heights Elementary School. That's near the YMCA. It happened after school around 4 p.m., just a block away from Harker Heights Elementary School. That's near the YMCA. It happened after school around 4 p.m., just a block away from Harker Heights Elementary School. That's near the YMCA. Two bystanders stepped in and were able to actually get the child out of his car. Fortunately, the child wasn't hurt and she's back with her family. The man is currently being held at the Bell County Jail. Two bystanders stepped in and were able to actually get the child out of his car. Fortunately, the child wasn't hurt and she's back with her family. The man is currently being held at the Bell County Jail. Two bystanders stepped in and were able to actually get the child out of his car. Fortunately, the child wasn't hurt and she's back with her family. The man is currently being held at the Bell County Jail. In Harker Heights, Good Samaritans prevented an alleged kidnapping. Police say a man persuaded a girl to get into his vehicle, but then two witnesses stepped in and stopped it. It happened after school around 4 p.m., just a block away from Harker Heights Elementary School. That's near the YMCA. Two bystanders stepped in and were able to actually get the child out of his car. Fortunately, the child wasn't hurt and she's back with her family. The man is currently being held at the Bell County Jail.